Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wyzant, answering a question submitted by a student. This student's taking geometry and has to learn how to do these transformations. Um, I'm thinking maybe the student is an honors geometry because this is pretty, pretty uh, difficult material, especially when you're seeing it for the first time. But it's really not as difficult as it might seem. You just have to take it step by step. So let's let's get started with this first one, which is an example here. And we're just going to start with x, y. And the first thing that they want is a rotation of 270 degrees. Well, a 270 degree rotation is, you can, you can just, you can memorize them. It's a uh, y comma negative x. Or you could try to figure them out on the fly. This is 270 degrees about the origin. And you can try to kind of reason your way through it. This is x comma y. And you want to go 270 degrees. So you're going to end up here so it's going to be 180 to here and then 270 to here It's y comma x, y comma negative x. Let's say this is 3, 2. You have to remember that this is going to, this is 2 here, this is 3 here. And When you come around, it's hard to it's hard to kind of fix this. It's probably easier for you to just memorize. Let's just stick with memorizing. It's hard to derive these things. Okay, so there's there's my counterclockwise rotation. Three left and one up. So y comma negative x is going to go to th three left. left three so the x the x coordinate which was the original y if you want to go left three the coordinate the new coordinate is going to be moved over three to the left and then if you want to go up one the new y coordinate which is this is just going to be and you can see this is left three up one. Okay, so that's this one. Let's do the next one. Rotation of 90 degrees counterclockwise is going to give you xy is going to go to uh, negative y comma x and that's 90 degrees it's hard to see these this would be a 90 degree rotation here You have to think about a right angle here. 
Okay, so there's the rotation and reflection of, off over the x-axis. So when you're reflecting over the x-axis, the x-axis, xy is going to go to x negative y. I'm running out of space here. Just erase this and do it again so it'll fit. So for the x-axis, this xy is going to go to x negative y. So that means negative y comma x is going to go to leave the x coordinate alone, negative y, and negate the second coordinate, negative x. So we'll call this A, B, and C here. So this is A. Okay, let's go down to B, reflection across the y-axis. So that's x comma y is going to go to negative x comma y. And then you're going to take negative x comma y. What does it want us to do with that? Then translation, something units to the right and B units, we'll just assume this is A units to the right and B units up. So A units to the right. Oops. And B units up. So that's part B, part C now. Translation to the right, A units to the right and B units up. So we start with the translation, A units to the right, B units up. And then the next step is going to be a rotation of 180 and a rotation of 180 just negates both X and Y. So this is going to be negative x minus a, negative y minus b. We negate both coordinates. And then a reflection of, off the y, over the y-axis. So negative x minus a, comma, negative y minus b. Oops. That's going to go over the y-axis. So when you're reflecting over the y-axis, the x is negated. So that's going to be x plus a. And the y remains the same. You're going across the y-axis. And that's it. So it's just, you know, step by step by step kind of tedious. You have to learn the rules. You need to memorize your rotations. You need to memorize the reflections. Reflections are kind of intuitive. Translations are also intuitive. So mostly I would say try to remember, try to memorize the rotations. 90, 180, 270. That's all you really need.
most of the time. You can sometimes be asked to ref, uh, do a reflection uh, not across a point, not and the point is not the origin. Um, and I did another video on that not too long ago. You might be able to find it here. Um, that's a whole that's a whole other discussion. Anyway, that's it for this problem. I hope the explanation was helpful to you, and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.